Why can't I factor this trinomial? Right here, we are trying to factor 2c squared minus 15c plus 27. And the method that you're using is called factor by grouping. And some other people will also call this the AC method. Because this right here is the A and this right here is the C. You will first have to multiply A and C together. 2 times 27 gives us 54. And then you will have to think about two numbers that they multiply to be 54. Together, they add up negative 15. And you did a great job because you got negative 9 and negative 6. When we multiply them, we do get 54. And when we add them, we do end up with negative 15. Perfect. Now, here is the key of doing this question. The first term stays 2c squared. And the last term also stays. But for the middle term, we are going to break it down. You can write it as negative 9c minus 6t or negative 6t minus 9c. Doesn't matter. I will do it the way that you did it. Right here, you broke this down as negative 6c and then minus 9c. In this case, it will be slightly easier to factor in my opinion. So I will do that right here too. And then lastly, we have the plus 27. Now, we have four terms, so we can do this by grouping. But one thing you have to keep in mind is that do not put down parentheses to group the first two terms and then parentheses here to group the last two terms. It's dangerous, especially when you have a minus in between. If you put the parentheses right here, no, that changed the whole thing. So instead, I usually tell my students to just go ahead, put down underline it so that it can help them to see we are focusing on the first two terms and the last two terms. Here we go. For the first two terms, look at the number 2 and 6. We can factor out 2. So let's do that. C squared, C. We can factor out the C. So let's do that. And then we will have C minus 3 left. Because negative 6C divided by 2C is negative 3. So this works. Now, here's the tricky part. And I'll tell you, whenever you are doing factor by grouping, whatever this sign is, go ahead and write it down right away. Go ahead and write it down right away. And then right here, we have 9 and 27. We can factor out 9. And then put down parentheses. Here. Originally, we have negative 9c, and then we factored out the negative 9. Just think about this as negative 9c divided by negative 9. We will have c left. And here's your question. 27, we factored it out negative 9. We have negative 3 left. Just think about this as 27 divided by negative 9. We do legitimately end up with negative 3. So we do have the same thing. And to proceed, we can just go ahead, factor out the c minus 3, and then finish that up with 2c minus 9. And that will do it. Now here's the bonus part for the people who are still watching the video. I'm going to show you a secret weapon of factoring this trinomial. This is called the slide and divide. Let's have a look. First though, we have to make sure these numbers here, they do not have a common factor besides one. They don't, so we can proceed. And the reason that factoring this trinomial is hard is because of the two right here, right? So we're going to do the following. First, we're going to slide it. Take the two, slide it to here, and just multiply with the 27. So you don't have the two right here anymore. So you have c squared minus 15c, two times 27 is 54. And that's a positive 54 right here, like this. Notice I didn't put on equal sign because this is not equal to this, right? But it will help us factoring the original trinomial. Just have a look. Isn't this much easier to factor? Yes, right? Okay, we have two sets of parentheses, c and c to give us the c squared, yeah? Now, what times what give us 54? Together, they add up negative 15. Well, the, reason, the answer is negative 5. Well, the correct combination will... And we can use negative 6 and negative 9. Let me write it down right here, and let me write it down right here. Very nice, huh? Now, 
How can we continue though? Well, earlier we slide it. Now we are going to divide it, the two. Look at this, look at that. We are going to divide this by two and also divide this by two. And then you ask yourself, can you reduce this? Yes, right? One, three. Now, can you reduce this? No. Then in that case, what you are going to do is, you are going to take the two, bring up to here. So finally, I'll tell you, this is equal to, this is equal to after this work right here. We will get C minus three times two is right here now, and then minus nine. 2c minus 9. Yep, just like this. Same answer as what we got earlier.